Hey there, everybody. It's me, BVG Hill. Welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. Here we are on the Arda Yakshi Mon Monastery on, uh, what was the name of this place? I don't remember. I don't remember the name of the planet. But we're at a Yar Arda Yakshi Monastery, and it seems that the Reapers have, uh, some sort of interest in this place. So we're trying to figure out why, and we may end up blowing it sky high. Who knows? Game saved. Oh, sounds. Very good. Deadman. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? Hey! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. That's right. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested this place by the time I arrived. Are your children a threat? You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. That's good. And you're here to save <clears throat> them. They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Yeah, we'll help search. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Jesus. Well, the party's getting We're started without us. Centuries, man. That's a long time to not speak to your own children. We'll meet the again. hell was that shot? I will draw these creatures off. Wait. No. Nah, Let's you, go. You can't tell Samara to wait. She's doing her own thing, and she's not bound by an oath to you anymore. I don't think, Shepard. Oh wait, I think there might be a thingy over here for me. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to give this to someone. So beautiful at the same time. I'll make sure I get that to her. And I'm sure sh An isolated fortress. she wasn't upset the about the fighting. She must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. Wow. They learned. Kind of makes you wonder. Yeah, they have no internet access whatsoever. Or extranet access, I should say. Um... So they probably didn't know. Maybe the matriarch running the place knew, and the staff, but the Ardat Yakshi themselves probably had absolutely no idea. This is a giant open area, I'm sure. Didn't even get to finish that thought. They're here. Okay, it's adrenaline rush time. I'm gonna blast her. Blast them! Well, that did like fuck all. Uh, hit him, hit her with that, and hit that up. Oh, no thanks. I'm taking cover from that if you don't mind. Probably should get my matic out for fighting these. I'm gonna do that. It's matic time, baby. Well, that's that wasn't a. Uh, Good position to die in, just saying. Um. Oh, I hear movement. Oh, hello. You're a dead man. Oh, I can kind of just barely see them poking through different areas. Nope, you're not going to eat the corpse of your brethren and get, like, superpowers. Because that's what happens to cannibals. 
Hence their name. They eat their fallen brethren, and I think they get, like, armor or barriers or something. Some such nonsense. Done. Same thing they did to every other race they've encountered so far. Humans got turned into cannibals, Turians got turned into marauders, and brutes. And now Asari are getting turned into banshees. What do Solarians turn into? I'm either blanking or they actually don't have a Reaper unit. Oh. Ooh. Nice shot, but it didn't do much. Mother, you came as soon as I was able. There's a paragon Shepard, choice coming up soon. This is Faler, my think. youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. Uh oh. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? There's a dead one behind us with glowing nipples. That's interesting. Her interesting choice us. of design, Reapers. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. Are they innocent? The Asari thought the Arnad <clears throat> Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Right. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Aww. A little smile. I believe you. And we have to find Rila fast. <coughs> Paul has a bomb. Clear my throat, though. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? I didn't put it there. We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Well, we're gonna stop to help Valer. people. Come on. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We're helping people. We do have to blow Valer. the place up, though. I mean, you know, I don't know if you saw all the Reapers infesting the, the place, but... She's looking for Rila. <clears throat> Javik in the background there, just staring at the wall. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Please be swift. Uh, fantastic. Okay, I need to stop talking during cutscenes. I need to shut my mouth. <clears throat> I apologize. Anytime for any time I do that, I apologize. Reaper rumors? I hope that email's old. Back to when no one believed me. <clears throat> and not recent. Because if it's recent, then... Man, I'd love to see what, what the wake-up call on that was like. Did I go over here already? I probably did, and I'm probably just going over here again like a dumbass. Oh. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. Well. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. I can tell. You know, minus the whole no access to the extranet thing, I wouldn't mind living here. Wouldn't want to be an Ardayakshi, but, you know, oh. Move up. Okay. Move up. Yes, Commander. Let's try and be sneaky sneaky about it. Or not. No sneak functionality whatsoever with these guys. Nope, you're not eating your brethren again. Where are they at? I know there's gotta be more of them. No? Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Simple. Just come in, ambush, they're all dead. They're dead. <clears throat> This looks like a pretty great hall. I'm assuming it's not the same place, but it looks pretty great to me. 
All these rooms look absolutely massive in scale. Like, how many Arda Yakshi were they keeping here? Like, seriously, were there like five of them? Or were there like 5,000 of them? Because I feel like this place could support like 5,000 people. Just saying. I mean, this is freaking, this is impressive. Jesus. Oh boy. Jethra. I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last matriarch Galay. Did you kill her or something? Salvage wall save. Jethra. I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Matriarch Galay. Moving right along. We don't have need to change any upgrades. Uh, let's go down into this great hall, and I'm sure no combat's going to happen down here. <clears throat> I'd be so surprised if the combat happened. Oh, I'm so surprised. Oh. Oh, no. Adrenaline. Oh, shit. What am I stuck on right now? Whatever I'm stuck on needs to fuck off. Getting the book out of here. Going way up top. I'm just gonna shoot down on you. Use some carnage, a grenade. Meta gel, because both my teammates are dead, which means I will be completely screwed in the coming moments. But I brought them up, so we're fine. Alright, she's dead. Oh, Liara. You die so easily. Javik, you too. What are you guys doing? You're just running around out in the open. Take cover. I mean, Javik I'm especially disappointed in. I mean, technically, he's got like 50,000 years of experience with this shit. Although he was asleep for a while. So maybe he's rusty on his combat. Combat maneuvers. Oh, fudge. Alright, time to use this again. And could you please take cover in sensible positions? Like, that would really be nice. And not just, like, run around shooting things. So that really doesn't cut it. Not on hardcore mode. I just shot through Javik. There we go. Job done. I did, like, 80% of the work. 90% of the work, maybe? Myself? Because I love these characters, but their combat AI is absolutely garbage. <laughs> Something I was thinking about, too, is... Uh, this is just completely random and off-topic. I'm pretty sure that this series is going to run almost perfectly right up to the launch of uh, Andromeda. So, you guys can look forward to that. And I really hope that it doesn't disappoint me in any way. I haven't been super disappointed by any Bioware games in memory, but um, I'm so looking forward to Andromeda. I don't know if you guys saw the recent gameplay trailer that came out like a week or two ago or something like that. Oh, so good. I got chills down my spine from it. It was so good. And I hope you guys are super excited about it, and I hope you'll also join me for that when it comes around. Another dead commando. The Asari should have rid themselves of the Adag Yokshi. By rid themselves? You mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. 
They didn't care for the competition. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sick burn. Leora can, she can let out a pretty sick burn when she wants to, that's for sure. I have to call the ICU for that one. On an elevator. Going up. Maybe going down. I don't know. Where are we going? Down, up, sideways? I have no idea. Samara's literally just chilling out. We've found our bomb. Alright. Falaire. She's awake and blinking. She seems to just be in like a some kind of trance. I guess I'm just supposed to activate the bomb. Should I like look around first, maybe? Because I'm pretty sure some pretty nasty shit's gonna go down. I.e. a really big fight. Ah, I think we're probably fine. We're probably fine unless there's something just chilling behind here. No, okay, we're good. Rina? All right, fine. Uh, Rina, can you hear me? A deadpan look. <gasps> oh boy. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. How does that process happen? Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had oh boy. one. We gotta find it. And naturally, the Reapers are not gonna let us just do that. Later. Leora doesn't use an assault rifle. Why does she have one? Oh boy. Uh, get those barriers down, please. That's a husk. This fight's gonna be hard as nails. I can already see it. Adrenaline. Furiously click. Nope, 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 don't. I just want you to roll, please. Can you just roll? Take out all the ads here. All right, adrenaline rush. That dodge didn't work. I love getting stuck on things every five seconds. It's my favorite. Let's get back to that bomb. Oh, first aid me, please. Oh my god, I'm dying. Ooh. That was intense. I didn't even take cover for a lot of that fight. Need any more ammo? No, not really. We're fine. There was probably some furious click a clacking in that one. Holy shit. Poor Rila. She's normal again. There, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Has to be done. Oh my god. 
good. If you're gonna go out, that's the way to go. On your own terms, I guess. Oh boy. Rila, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live oh, outside a monastery that no longer exists. Come on, Samara, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! Oh boy. My daughters, you were all so much stronger. Nope, 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 nope. You're not doing that. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of him. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Come on, hug her back, Samara. There you go. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit. As a Justicar should. Adorable. You could stay, Samara. Just hang out. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me. Of course. Absolutely. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. I don't believe she doesn't join this crew. I say I don't believe. I know she doesn't the join shuttle. the crew. Right, Commander. She helps in some I'll other just way. Follow the smoke. Yep, that's a good way to find us. <clears throat> Where there's explosions, there's usually a Commander Shepard. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the art at Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Much obliged, Counselor. Order. Admiral Hackett's available on this call. You know what? Just so we could stop hearing that, I'm going to talk to him. Commander, something and he's going to say, we're not prepared. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? It's a good question. Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. Anyone can kill you a just Reaper. You have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You stopped the Batarian slavers on Elysium all those years ago. What you did, the people who survived that ordeal still thank you by name. That was enough? And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. 
You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Appreciate that. What's the Reaper situation? Let's just get a sit rep. It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Galactic readiness. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else, as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Yeah, tell me Bringing about that. in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. But the Rachni... What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Don't know if that's In a good or bad thing. I guess they know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Krogan's Turians. What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. Asari and Salarians. How about the Asari and <clears throat> Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. Salarians? And the Salarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. Good. Arya's reinforcements. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. You and me both. The will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. Good. Clips are providing You're gonna get one. And mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Right on. Nothing Talk worse. to you later, Admiral. Pack it out. And on that note, we're going to end the episode here. So, as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I always appreciate it. Blows my mind how much you guys are supporting this series. It's like, I can't thank you guys enough, seriously. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then definitely make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me. Thanks. I'll look at that next episode. <laughs> for more content from me, then feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but most certainly not least, if this video just blew you off. Hi! Most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street, or the internet, whatever floats your boat, and I will see all of you in the next one. See you later!